My people, black people of America, love your people, love yourselves, love others. Love your people. Is that so damn hard? But he comes to refill my love of my people and my faith. So just by him coming into my presence, he refills, he rejuvenates my love for my people, the chosen people of God. And he recharges all of my faith right back up just by his presence. Now, his presence is not something that's coming out of you. It's not emitting out of you. I'm not saying that you can't feel it inside of your heart, too, because you can. But it's in the environment. It's, it's like you could touch it. It's not something that's inside of you. You know what I'm saying? It's something that you can feel. Just like the cool wind that blows by and touch your face. You can feel his presence like that. When you get a magnet and you turn on the opposite side and both of them sides don't attract and they fight each other. It's a presence in your very atmosphere that you feel. And it fills up wherever you at. If you're in the house, he's in that whole house and you can feel his presence in you in, in that whole house with you. With you. If you're in a 30 story building. He's going to put all his presence on that building and you will be able to feel his presence all through that building. If you step outside, <laughs> you'll feel him all around you in every single thing. Family It's in his just by his presence. It's not something that is coming out of you like, oh, I drunk a beer and I feel a little tipsy and I feel I feel tipsy. It's not like that. You know what I'm saying? It does. It's not like that. It's in the environment of your surrounding. His presence coming to be nearby you and it overflows you with so much love. It's overwhelming and it it can knock you down, family. It can. It can. You can start bursting into tears. It's all kind of stuff that happened to people when God presence come about them. So I just want to clarify on that for people who are just in the dark and do not understand what his presence is. You know how stuff be so tense and. You can feel the hostility in the air and you can cut it like a knife. Same thing, family. Same thing. But a more intense feeling of his presence is overwhelming. You can feel it on your skin. You know what I'm saying? You can feel it in the air. You know what I'm saying? It's all a part of wherever you at, family. I have felt his presence so many times, but I understand now that he comes to me just to refill. When he see me and I'm getting a little spiritually low. He going to come on in and be in my presence to refill that back up, to get me back aligned. Oh, Father, I'm back now. I understand I was getting low. My tank was running a little bit empty, but I see that your love, it runneth over. And he refills me up and my cup, it runneth over until, it, until I have to face this evil and it starts taking from it, family. Because we got to fight. We got to face this damn evil. We got to face these damn evil and these evil people, family. That are not your family. Quit holding on to them. Now, this has been your brother, Jehoshaphat. And I would like you to come to this 9 o'clock per hour. No matter where you at in the world. It doesn't matter to me. I don't care what you are doing. Uh, washing dishes. Driving your motorcycle. Painting the house. You might not want to make love at the 9 o'clock per hour. I'm just saying, family. I'm just saying. Um... I suggest that you take this time to be with your brothers and your sisters in the spiritual form because they are in their finest hour. And like the Lord told me, he's with us. You know what I'm saying? He's with us. So he's listening. You know what I'm saying? He's taking this special time just to listen to those who decide to come to this nine o'clock hour to build you up. Now, I suggest that when you come to this nine o'clock hour per hour that you do it willingly. God don't want you faking. He wants you to come to him willingly i suggest that you bring all your problems i ask that you say prayers on the behalf of all your people in any woe anything you possibly think that could affect the person i ask that you start small and say some prayers about the homeless people that's on the street say some prayers about that sister who can't get out that relationship getting smacked up by her husband say some prayers about them people over in the foster care i'm these is just Minimum prayers that I'm telling you that I'll be praying for. Pray for them females that want to go out and do the act of abortion. Pray for your brothers and sisters who think that they could take their life. Pray for your, 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 your families for the attack of Satan on them. Pray for your brothers and sisters that's over there in them jails and them, them, uh, any type of incarceration. Pray for them. Pray for the people who, who got something on them that want to be a reach. They can't, they can't stop doing them drugs, brother. They need your prayers to help them. And set them free. So come be a Paul. Come be involved at this monolithic 
nine o'clock per hour. I don't even know how long we've been doing this now, y'all. But I have woe to y'all. If you see me on YouTube or not, just know that at nine o'clock it's popping. You know what I'm saying? Just know at nine o'clock we are we we setting it off on on this earth. We are setting it off on this earth. If you could only see the spiritual ramifications of what we're doing, you know what I'm saying? So I ask that you come be a part of this because this could be life changing for you and for you for you and yours and your household. I promise you that. And come with an honest heart. It's no telling what God has in store for you at this nine o'clock prayer hour. But just come with an honest heart. This has been your brother Jehoshaphat. Peace and blessings be upon you with God's grace and Yeshua precious name for he is the Lord. Uh, I get back as soon as the Father get me some more work to do. Peace and blessings be upon you in Yeshua precious name, for he is the Lord.